Hi everybody, today I will show you how to make responsive website in WordPress Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, to make the responsive website in the Elementor, first of all what we need to do, we need to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. So here you would need to install Elementor if you haven't installed the Elementor. Otherwise you can skip this part. Okay, so after this we're going to go inside the Apedias and we're going to go inside the themes. So the theme that I'm using here with the Elementor is the Astro theme. Okay, because the Astro theme is compatible with the Elementor Builder and also you can get a lot of the different pre-made templates. So the easiest way to make the responsive website with the Elementor is to go inside the plugins and install a plugin which is called the Starter Templates. So you're going to go inside the Starter Templates and you can simply install this and activate this from here. And after this, what you need to do, you're going to go inside the Appearance and click on the Starter Templates. And from here, you can simply go into Build with Templates. And now you will be able to see different templates here. So you can simply choose any template from here. So let's click on the first one. And here you can simply click on the Continue and it would actually import the whole template into your WordPress. Okay, but right now we don't need this because we want to build our website from the scratch in the Elementor. So we're going to simply go back into our WordPress dashboard. Now that was the easiest way. But let's say if you wanted to build the thing from the scratch. So how are we going to do this? We're going to go inside the pages and click on the all pages. And from here you will need to create add new page. Okay, so I have already created a page here that is actually not responsive and it does not have a lot of the content but you will get the idea how can you make a responsive website. So let's say here we're going to click on add element and we're going to add some content here on the new section. So first of all I'm going to add the container. Perfect. And this will be in the horizontal direction. And I also need one more container here. So let's click on this container. Perfect. So this will be in the vertical direction. And now what I have to do, I'm going to add the image into this. Let's just go back into the element and add the image into this one. So let's click on choose image. And I'm going to select any image from here. And similarly, what we have to do, we're going to go back into the add element. Let's just add the heading and let's just add the paragraph here if you wanted to. So let's just add the paragraph here. So we're going to add the paragraph here. Where is the paragraph? Yeah, this one. All right. So now we have to put this into the center. I just put this into the center and also the text. Perfect. And now what we have to do, we have to increase the size of our image. So let's increase the width here. So I'm going to go here with let's say 30%. Okay, this is looking good. And I have to change the size of my heading. So I'm going to go here with smaller size here. Okay, so I'm going to go here with the 20px. And similarly, we can customize the text here as well. But I don't need to do this. Okay, so now what I have to do here, I would actually duplicate this container. So let's duplicate this. And let's just do this again. Perfect. Now what we have to do, we're going to go inside our images and we need to give it 100% width. Similarly, we're going to do the same thing here. And we're going to do the same thing here. Perfect. Okay, so now I need to add the heading here. So let's just add the heading here. And I need to put this in between our first section and the second section. So let's just put this here on our in between our second section. Now you're going to see we're having a space here. Perfect. So let's put this into the center. All right. And what we're going to do, we're going to add some space. So let's go into the advanced setting. We're going to add the padding here. So let's just add the 30 from the top and 30 from the bottom. So we can increase the value here, 60 and also the 60 here. And what I need to do here, I want to add one more thing here. So that is actually the divider. Perfect. Let's just put this to, let's say, 20% put this into center and here what we have to do we're going to go into the style let's just change the color to the blue or something like this and we're going to go here with the dark color or we can also go here with kind of light color here but we need to increase the width of it all right so this is looking better 
and we can change the color here as well let's just go here the black color or we can go here with the gray color okay this is looking fine and we're gonna change the color of our text that would be black similarly we're gonna change the color here this will be black as well and we're gonna do the same thing on here so let's just change this to the black change this one to the black as well and we have one more let's just change this to the black perfect all right so now we have created this section everything is looking fine here and uh, if i just change this to the template portrait and if i just change this to the mobile portrait you can see here the design is actually not responsive so how can we make this responsive okay so it is pretty simple so first i'm going to make the responsive for the template portrait okay so how can we make this we're going to click on our container here this one and we need to have some space here so let's just add some padding so we're going to go here with the 30px all right this is looking good or we can go here with the 20 yeah this is looking better and let's just add the heading here so in the heading let's just change the text here which is new beginning perfect and we are having this uh, text here and after this we have this button so in here what we can do we're going to go into the style and we can actually decrease the padding value here can you see this we're going to decrease the padding value here so this will be 20 so we actually need to have the different value for top and the bottom and left and the right so on the top and the bottom i'm going to have 10 similarly on the bottom and on the right side we're going to have 30 on the left side we're going to have 30 and what else we can do here we can actually change the value to the top to the 15 but yes we can also go here with the 15 in the bottom all right so as you can see here this is looking better and we're going to do the same thing on the second one so let's copy the style from the first one and let's click on the paste style on the second one now you can see this both of them are looking far more better and what else we can do here i think this is looking fine and what we can do here on this section okay we can add some padding here so this will be actually the box or we can also change this to the full width but we're going to go here with the box one and let's just click on the advanced setting and let's just add some padding here so the padding would be from left and the right side so let's just add 30px from the right side and 30px from the left side this is looking better and we can have the alignment to the left side and also on here and also on the last one and similarly we can change the alignment in here to the left side in here to the left side again and also the left side here perfect and what else we can do here we can increase or decrease the font size so i'm going to actually decrease the font size here of our heading as well so let's go here with let's say 15 or maybe we can go here with 17 17 is looking better and we can copy the styling from here apply this on the second one and also apply this on the third one okay so this is looking better and yes this is what we have we can also decrease the size of our heading here we will actually change this value to let's say 30 or we can change this to 20 we're gonna go here with the 25 yes and let's just also decrease the spacing here you can see here we are having a lot of the unnecessary space so let's click here on our main container and in here we will actually decrease this to the 30 so let's unlink the values okay so now we're gonna have the 30 at the top and we're gonna have 30 at the bottom okay or we can even decrease this to 10 maybe let's just go here with the 20 this is looking better and now what else we can do okay so i think this is looking fine and in here on our the button thing what we can do here we can also change this into the column structure like this so you can also do something like this so if you don't like this look here in the horizontal you think it is looking bulky what you can do here you can actually change this to the column as well if you want to and also you can stretch them okay so how can we do them we're going to click on the button and here let's just click on the stretch and also on the second one as well click on the stretch here so this is how you can do this okay so i'm going to put this like this all right so here as you can see here our button is actually occupying more space in our image so we're going to go into our image and here what you have to do let's just go into the style and into the style what else we can do okay so here we can change the height so let's just go here for the cover and we can change the height here and now this is looking better okay now we don't have this extra space we can also increase this value if you wanted to 
uh, like this so we're gonna have something like this yeah this is looking better now you can see here that our template section is responsive so similarly we can go inside the mobile portrait and we can actually make this responsive okay so how can I make this responsive okay so the first part you can see here we are having the image and we are having our text here and this is not looking really great here so now we have the two different options either we can change the order of the image so if I click on the image here and you can see this I'm already into the advanced settings and here I can change the order here you can see this this is how I can change the order okay so this is the first way of doing this so if you like this you can do this but if you don't want to have the image on the mobile portrait what you can do you can actually go into the responsive and you can hide this on the mobile portrait and now you will only have the text here okay and after this what we're gonna have you're gonna have this heading that is looking really simple here so what we can do here I'm gonna add one more divider here maybe so let's just copy this and duplicate this and I'm gonna put this here okay and this will only be visible on our mobile devices so how can I disable this from the tablet and then desktop portrait that is simple you're gonna disable this from here and after this what you can do you can actually change the size of your heading here so let's put this into the center and let's just put this into the center as well let's just put all of these into the center okay center and center and center let's just change this into the center and also this one all of these takes are into the center and this is how it is looking so if you wanted to have this image you can simply click on this one so we need to click on this one here and here we're gonna go inside the advanced setting let's just enable this again into our responsive okay so I need to click on the container let's just make this responsive now you can see that we are having our image here so similarly you can have your buttons here so if you want to change them into let's say the raw version okay you can change the direction here if you want to put them into the column structure you can also do this so let's go here with the horizontal one and from here in the justify content you can put them to the center on the end side or onto the left side however you want to have them and this is how you can do the things here and if you want to change the gap here you can also change the gap from here but I'm gonna go here with the column version and let's just align them into the center and then we can again change this to the stretch okay so I need to go back here and I will need to change this into the stretch and let's just add some space here of the 10 column now this is looking good so this is how you can make your design responsive on the mobile portrait as well okay so now we're gonna talk about the header and the footer so if you're using the astro theme by default you get responsive header and the footer so if I just click here you will be getting a responsive header and also the responsive footer and if I just go into the tablet portrait you can see this we are having a responsive header and the footer similarly on the mobile portrait you're gonna get the responsive header and the footer okay now the thing here is that okay let's just add some padding here just on the left and the right side 20 here and 20 there this is looking better so let's just click on publish and let's click on have a look on the preview perfect so if I wanted to customize header and the footer I'm gonna go inside the WordPress dashboard you can see here we are having the responsive design here if I want to go here into the spec you will be able to see our design is responsive on mobile and tablet portrait so if I just change this to the tablet screen you can see this is how it is looking if I go here with here this is how it is looking so this is how you can make your design responsive in the WordPress and for the header and the footer you're gonna go inside the customize and you would actually go here into the header builder so in the header builder you can see here I can go inside the mobile portrait okay so from here you can actually change the site title and logo if you want to and you can also customize the toggle button so you can see here you're gonna have these uh, thinner lines here if you want to have the thicker lines you can change this and if you want to have the dots you can also have them from here and if you want to change the design you can also change the color and you can also change the icon size and also the font size so you can explore these options from here and also you can see here you're actually having the three different parts so the first one is above header second one in the primary header and the third one is below header so if you want to add any element into this you can simply add them here so if I just click here on to this one 
and click on the social here now you will be able to see we are having the social icons here so this is how you can also add the elements into our mobile header okay so now if you talk about the footer here we're gonna go back into the footer builder similarly you can add the elements here you can add the widget here you can add the copyright here and if you want to customize the widget here you can simply click on this you can customize this from here all right and you can also change the design from here as well okay so this is how we can make a responsive website in wordpress elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel